Hello from Fine Arts. Today, we're gonna to create a firefly inspired by Eric Carle. I used watercolors, a Sharpie, and crayons. Get your supplies because here we go. Okay, first thing I did is make a border, go down, across, down, across. Put your name on your artwork. Every artist should sign their art. Okay, the first thing I started with is the, the eyes, actually. I started with a circle, actually the head. The head is a circle. And so I'm gonna do a big circle for the head. I'm gonna do two circles for the eyes. One, two. Inside those circles I do another little circle. Another little circle. And I do a little nose. So cute. Okay, and then um, I have two antennas. One, two. One goes to the right, one goes to the left. And then the body, we have head, thorax, abdomen. So we're gonna come down here, and this is like a rectangle. There's one, and then I drew another little one. Two, I'm gonna draw another one. It gets a little bit smaller. And then another one. And one more. So those are all going to be brown. And then I have these three down here, the tail. So I have one, two, and then the bottom of the tail is like the letter V. Okay, so we have the head, the eyes, the nose, the body. Now, the wings. Very cool. So I'm going to start with this bottom wing on the right side. And I'm kind of going to start uh, right here. So I'm going to just make a big, huge wing. There's one. Okay, then the other one, I'm gonna come up between the neck and the thorax, and I'm gonna come around and make another one. So cute. Notice it looks different than this one. That's okay. And then over here, on the left side, I'm gonna do the same thing right about here. Another wing. And this one, another wing. Okay, and then the um, legs, I'm gonna come Start underneath the head, so that's the thorax. I'm gonna go straight, there's one. I'm gonna go up two, and then really long three, okay? Do the same thing on the other side, mirror image. Ready, to the left, one, up two, and then poked out three. So cute! Okay, then the next set of legs, Kind of drop a little bit lower. Maybe I'll do it right here. I'm going to go across one. Then I'm going to go up two and then diagonal down three. Same thing on the other side. Um, ready? Here we go. We're going to go down one, up two, and then cross down three. Okay. And then the last set of legs, they have six legs. On the next rectangle, we're going to go across. Ready? One, up two, and then down three. There we go. And here we go again. One, two, three. So cute! Okay, now I did splattering of paint, but I also threw in some stars because there's only one time in my life when I got to see fireflies. And that was when I visited my friend in Illinois. Notice I'm just putting little stars around. Illinois, they have the most amazing fireflies. Now I'm gonna draw some dots. I couldn't believe it. I said, what is that sparkling in the sky? She said, those are fireflies. Never seen anything like it. So magical and amazing. Um, okay, now get your crayons to add some details. Okay, so I think I started with yellow. 
Oh, and I have another one here that I did, and so you're welcome to change it however you want. This one's a little bit smaller, and I did the entire sky. So this project is really open-ended. You can change it. You do it however you want. I'm gonna fill in these eyes yellow. Okay, and I'm gonna fill this in yellow. Okay, and again, I designed this based off the cover of Eric Carle's book, Firefly. Now, every animal has a twinkle in their eye, even if it's an insect. So I'm gonna draw a, a circle, leave a little white part inside the eye. There we go. And then I did a red nose. And I think I did um, just a little bit of green, just because the insect has a little bit of hair, just to show it a little bit of texture. And then I did my orange. I kind of went over top of the legs and the antlers, tracing them. That way, no matter what you paint, you're still going to see them because they're orange. So I kind of went to the um, on the top, made them a little bit thicker than that black line, just so they would show up. Because that's the thing about fireflies. They show up at night. They're amazing. And so is Eric Carle. I definitely love all of his books. Okay, there we go. And then um, I think I'm gonna add a little bit of shading to the thorax and the abdomen. So I did a little bit of black here, just a little tiny bit, a little line right here to give it some dimension. There we go. So those are all gonna be painted brown, but there's a little bit of black. And then maybe I'll do a little bit of yellow here just a little bit. Okay, and I think I did all this with paint. Okay, oh, I know what else I did. So on their wings, they have lots of different textures. So I'm gonna grab the orange and just do a little bit of very lightly texture on the wing, even though we're gonna paint it different. Okay, that's it for your crayons. Get your paint. And get your water. Okay. And we're going to go ahead and paint. thing that I painted um, was yellow. So I'm going to wake up my yellow and I'm going to paint um, this part a little bit of yellow. This part a little bit of yellow. I left a little bit of white and then also around the eyes. And then now this next part you have to just be free with it so this is the part where um, the firefly is glowing at night so you're just going to grab your yellow and you're just going to do some lines showing that it shows that the firefly is kind of glowing. And I just kind of illuminated it. There we go, leaving the, some of the white, and then also up here. And make sure you come around. But I didn't do it all solid. I was gonna go um, like this. Okay, all right, now, um, the next 
next part that I did was the um, fade, the head green. And now mine's pretty light, so I'm gonna got too much water in there. Now, even though we're covering up the orange, it's gonna still show orange. That's why we used our crayon. Okay. Trying to get my music on. Let's see. All right. Next thing I did is the wings, and I did some different colors. So I'm going to grab some orange. I'm going to sprinkle in a little bit of orange. Just a little bit of orange on the wings. Okay. Now I'm going to open the. Now I'm gonna, I also did red. So I'm going to wake up my red. And then I'm going to go around and I just want to have different colors. So I'm going to try not to mix too much, um, letting the orange and the red kind of play off of each other for the wings. Be a little bit more orange in there. And you can change this or customize it. Again, I did this based off of Eric Carle's, the cover of his book, The Firefly. So that's how I chose my colors. And, ooh, I like it when the orange mixes with the red, kind of. Okay. Then I did the body, which is the thorax and the abdomen brown. So that's at the bottom. I'm going to paint right over that black, not worrying about it, because it will dry and you'll still be able to see it. Now it's looking like a firefly. Okay, for the outside sky, I did blue and you see the lines, so we're just going to wake up the blue. And I'm not going to fill it all the way in, so I'm going to start over here, and it's kind of a go very slow. Your my paintbrush is very light. I'm not pushing too hard. Okay, come down here. Same thing. Try and don't mix the yellow and the blue because then you'll make green. So I didn't, I left it kind of like this to make it look like the firefly was moving to show movement. Okay, maybe a little tiny bit up here, go nice and slow, filling in those spots. Kind of like a zigzag. Okay, the fun part. We are going to splatter. Now, I would recommend um, the watercolor paint um, wipes off everything, but make sure you're not near any of your parents' nice furniture or you're in a spot where you can do this. Maybe you want to do it over a 
kitchen sink. Okay, so watch how I do this. So my brush is wet. I grab my paint. Okay, then the brush is, is the paint is on the brush. So now I'm going to just flick it. Yes, look at that. Amazing, so fun. And then I'm not gonna lift up my paper. And you can see these spots here, it's if they drip, that's good. Just let it, let it do its thing. And up here, yes, yeah, so cute. So just a little bit of splatter. Again, you might wanna do this over a kitchen sink. If you get it on your clothes, I promise it'll come off. This is watercolor paint, so it comes right off. Okay, all right, and then you're gonna let it dry. And that's it. Okay, I hope you had fun in fine arts. Until next time, bye everybody.